what a great ending to the season because at the end obviously as you can tell from the ending season five's in production geek toys i'm so happy that they got the rights to data live and stuff because data live has been hopping every single season to a different company and it and it was still it was still pushing itself there was still something that everybody like wanted to see from data live that it was still being pushed season after season of being produced and it got into the hands of geek toys and they knew they knew what they were doing it was fantastic this last episode the finale was great to see shido and kurumi in that moment in the in that building together first of all her getting straight up naked and stuff and like shido was like you know i mean, I mean people people would get mad could get mad at at shido for not doing anything but it's like he doesn't want to do anything like it's the people who are mad that he didn't do anything are very clearly the 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 angry virgin boys that 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 are thinking that like they would have they would have done something with Tukurumi and stuff or, or whatever the, clearly they're the angry virgin boys seeing shido not wanting to do it because it's not a freaking time to do it it's not like and her just standing there saying that like you know this is all that i can like give you and whatnot um like first of all she looked absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous in that moment when she was you know you know slowly taking it off and stuff and i'm like wow she's beautiful she really is that moment was great his moment was was uh, was great too and like just to see more of like you could say a backstory but it's more so like just a past thing that occurred well 204 times that shido was actually either like you know fell into dem's hands or killed and whatnot we see a moment that like that moment when shido is on the roof with kurumi from this season immediately gets almost taken out by ellen and then all of a sudden, all of those, you know, copy spirits from Beelzebub that, that, that Isaac uh, created come in to fight all of the spirits, you know, like, you know, Toka, Miku, and Yoshino, or you know, I think Yoshino's there, I believe, and then Yuzuru, Kage Yuzuru, and, and Origami and stuff to fight them. Meanwhile, like, Shido is being recovered by the Ifrit's, like, spirit, like, power, the angel, and, like, that moment when he gets stabbed, or not stabbed, actually, he gets shot by, shot by Ellen, and then Ellen was going to be taken care of by Kurumi, and then who, Ashcroft, comes in hot, slices Kurumi's head, arm off, Woo! but then, like, yo, it's so, or like, her, her abilities are so cool, because she has, like, a, a part of her angel that, like, she can use to actually reverse time to, like, like, you can kind of think of it as, I don't know if people have seen Bleach, but uh, Orihime's ability where she can pretty much rewrite, like, time itself with her ability. Like, that's kind of like what it is. Kurumi kind of did that with one of her abilities of her angel to reverse kind of like that moment where her arm got cut off, like it came back and everything. So that was like really cool to see. And then like, but Ellen straight up slicing Shido's head off? That I didn't expect, and then like you know, one of like uh, one of nightmares or one of um, Kurumi's clones was holding his body, and then and another one was holding his head. And I'm like, wow, this looks so messed up and dark and stuff. The, just seeing more of that, and that like you know, the one who's actually telling him this is not like the 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 actual Kurumi, but a copy of her younger self because you know the the real Kurumi like passed out because she's so tired from like literally everything that she was doing like she's even gotten like mana to help her like you know protecting Shido and stuff she has protected him so many times and and he's like why did you like protect me and whatnot and then and then like the younger Kurumi is like please don't be so thoughtless uh about my feelings for you I'm like 
wow. And then seeing like the moment of like from talking about like the first season when she was fighting Kultari and before she left because of like, you know, Shido like, you know, protected her, saved her. She kissed, she kissed Shido at that moment. And at that time, her heart partially opened a little bit for him. And it turns out that Vav, which was one of like her abilities, the sixth bullet, that she thought was broken because of Kotri fighting, it was actually because it was sealed in Shido. So then when Shido dies, she can actually, she can take it like out of it, back out of him and use it to protect him. Like, bro, that is like, that is such a cool like story, like, 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 that's such a cool part of the plot that like Vav is in him, but when he dies, she can kiss him and get it back. So then she can, so she can reverse, not reverse, but like put her mind like back in the past, like time tra like it's kind of like mind time travel to the past to help him and make sure that he doesn't die and stuff. And this is all, this all happened because of like the fight with Kotori. The, the whole fight from season one, it, everything's coming full circle, like all the time. It, like it's so, it was a really good episode, man. Oh, bro, it was so good. And then like hearing like their feelings or not technically, well, yeah, technically is their feelings and Kurumi's true feelings with like Shido, like her heart has already started to open from that moment that he protected her uh, against Kotori's uh, Kamile, like like explosion, like or whatever. Absolutely fantastic. And then like you know, Kurumi actually waking up and like she kind of like embarrassed, which was kind of funny because she kind of turned a little bit into a Sundere when like you know she left with her younger self and all of her like clones and stuff she's like but i don't want he's gonna think he's gonna think the wrong thing like that i like him or something that is so like funny and cute and everything and in that moment was so great and then in that moment phantom comes and like you know she's talking about giving kurumi advice and then kurumi's like ain't having it so then she uses her ability to take like pretty much take out uh, like Phantom's actual like or not actual but like her form in that moment and we're seeing the true form of Phantom which is is Rene but also Rene is also with Kotori and and all of the spirit girls and Shido and stuff and Shido's about to talk to them about everything that happened and that's how the episode ends that's how the finale ends and everything like bro that was it was so good and then seeing like uh, you know, I was spoiled on some things with, like, Rene and, and stuff. Again, in the comments, like, last week, I don't... Uh, it's like a headache. I, I, like, I'm... I still absolutely thoroughly love Data Live from the bottom of my heart, but I am definitely done with doing weekly episode reviews and stuff. I might do, like, seasonal reviews or random videos of, like, things that happen in a season that I really want to talk about. I'm gonna do those. Um, but overall, it was such a good, it was, oh my gosh, it was great. Like seeing all of those things that happened and just the funny banter between like, you know, those, those phony spirits that Beelzebub created or Isaac created through Beelzebub, Beelzebub. And then like, uh, them talking, uh, talk, like calling Ellen a grandma or something like that. And like Ellen, like being very harsh with what's like, you know, they failed yet again, and the, like, the fake spirits, whatever, they failed again, but then the spirits, like, talk to her, saying, they're like, oh, you failed more than anybody, and whatnot, they're, like, calling her a grandma and stuff, which was rude, Ellen is fine AF, bro, what are you talking about, so, and, and just to see, like, again, like, finding out that Kurumi was protecting Shido a stupid amount of times, like, that is an insane amount of times that she's been protecting him. So, like, oh, it's so good. And then the, the whole ending with, like, you know, Kurumi and, and like, her younger self and all of the other clones, like, you know, t trying to take out Phantom and whatnot. I wonder, wait, so does, does she know that Phantom is Mio? And if that's the case, why did she call her Phantom? I was confused with that, but 
anyways, uh, like, great episode, all the stuff with Kurumi, more of a Kurumi episode and stuff, which was great, um, and, like, yo, the, and, and, again, just to see that, that, that initial past thing when, you know, Kurumi and Shido were on the roof and they were about to acknowledge it, like, yo, if I win, I get to devour you, I get to take your powers, but if Shido wins, like, he gets, he gets to seal her powers and whatnot, and to see that, and then, like, that was the moment that there was so many times, 204 times that she was trying to protect Shido, and, like, like, even DEM Industries attacked his house, too, which was also something that, like, we saw, like, the last couple episodes ago, we were like, wait, like, Shido wakes up perfectly fine and everything, um, from all those phony, uh, spirits, like, trying to kill him, or, like, killing him and stuff, which was crazy, so that explained why he was perfectly fine, and nobody was doing anything, so that was great, and, like, that whole, that, that started the cycle of, like, constantly, of, like, uh, Kurumi constantly using the sixth bullet, Vav, to, to, like, you know, uh, not reverse time, but, but send her mind into the past, uh, to, uh, to, like, a past Kurumi or something, and, like, going and helping Shido, like, bro, so good like it was really really great uh and just to see like you know the vulnerability that kurumi was really bringing out this episode like she was just crying so much that shido died and like you know and and how emotional that she is like it's really nice to see that like always obviously we see this this mysterious like you know creepy type of character in Kurumi for a long time and obviously beautiful in the Ada Ada and stuff but like see her that vulnerable in this episode and whatnot and seeing her younger self telling Shido everything about what happened and stuff and then now Shido is telling all of the other spirits and everything Kotori Toka and all of them telling them what really like, has been going down with him and with Kurumi and how, and how she saved his life so many times, like, I'm ready for it, and just ready to see Rene and, and, and whatever, and all that stuff that's gonna happen with her, and, like, in, like, Phantom and whatnot, and, like, it's gonna be a good time, season five is in production, I'm excited and hyped for it, great episode, what did you guys think about this episode, leave down in the comments your thoughts about this episode, your thoughts about what I said and whatnot, like the video if you did, like the video if you liked the episode, like the video if you liked that, anything I had to say, like me if you, you know, you, like, like, like the video if you like me and everything, and <laughs> subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, theme discussion videos, things like that, so gentlemen stay classy, ladies stay sad, so most important to everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, alright, so peace and love, and I'll see y'all later in the next video, peace out, may the force be with you always, plus ultra lot home, Date Alive, Date Alive Greatness Season 5 in production. It's coming. I'm hyped, and I hope you're hyped, too. I hope you are hyped up, too, as much as me. Peace out, and I'll see you guys later.